So as you said, places where you can uh, add value <coughs> is basically on the products that you provide. You can either bundle things with it. This is a very common thing to do, and sometimes it's just short term, but it creates uh, a differentiator, and uh, customers love to, to, to see that they are getting something for less or, so, or more for less or whatever. And these, these are all things that have been going on for years, and people need to, to continue to add them into their business. The level of service that clients get, right? They're very important. I mean, clients uh, expect a certain level of service, but sometimes are surprised that you come out with something unique in that field. And your pricing model, um, you need to, to really look at your pricing model. You need to see how you can be maybe more cost effective in terms of keeping your uh, company costs down and therefore be able to transfer that over to your clients. Or it could be other ways, financing, all sorts of things could be added into the models that you have in terms of your business today. And these are things that we'll all be adding more onto as we move along in this program. So these are not just points that we're bringing up and they'll be gone and forgotten. Each one of these things will be looked at uh, at, at a later stage to see how you can innovate and how you can use these different things. The experience of clients, that clients get in dealing with you. I mean, this is a very important thing. And how many people do polls? How many people do checking, are their clients really happy, are they satisfied, um, how many people actually listen to their clients, this is the key thing. <coughs> and the knowledge and expertise that you provide, you need to continually um, hone your, your knowledge and you need to continually update your expertise so that you can make sure that you're staying abreast and keeping ahead of the pack, otherwise you start uh, falling into that, uh, as I said, red sea of competition. So, innovation can be the intersection of your unique value and your client's expectations. How do you add value to your clients? We've mentioned it before, the experience that you give them, the service that you give them, the product that you give them by differentiating, by bundling, by doing different things, online marketing of their, of their products and services, <coughs> right? Online has become a big thing social networking, these sorts of things for advertising and, and, and getting the word out. There's many, many different things that we didn't have in the past and you need to jump on the bandwagon and use them. Better web exposure. Yeah, <coughs> These are all things that can do it. 